I want to talk to you today about leadership. This world is in desperate need of authentic leaders, leaders who will step to the forefront and be willing to get out of the box a little bit and show others a new and a fresh way to live their lives, to lead cultures, to lead governments. We need leaders. I want to share with you five things that I know about leaders. Number one, leaders take risks. You see, anybody can just fall into line and do what everybody else is doing. But when given a challenge, when faced with what seems to be an impossibility, when looking at something that's never been done before, a leader will step up and say, I'll try it. I'll do it. I'll risk, at maybe at my own peril, everything that I own, my finances, whatever. But somebody has to lead, so I'll be the guy. I'll be the gal. I'll lead. Leaders take risks. Number two, leaders innovate. Leaders have this unbelievable ability to, to create and to garner, to birth new ideas, new ways of doing things. Uh, they, they have these, this creative ability to, to cause something to be seen differently. Leaders innovate and they find new paths, new methods, new ways to do something. Leaders challenge the status quo. And this is something I'll be talking about more in another session here on Monday Mastery. But leaders are not satisfied with the way things have always been. Leaders will never allow their hearts and their minds to embrace the idea, well, this is just the way it has to be. Because whatever the status quo is, the fact is it can be better. It can move forward. And leaders are those individuals who challenge the status quo. The fourth thing I know about leaders is that leaders empower others. It is in every true leader's heart to bring someone along with them, someone up with them. As a leader myself, I am constantly looking to others who have journeyed further than I have, and they have conquered more mountains than I have, and they are mentoring and empowering me in my journey, yet at the same time, as a leader, I am looking for those that are looking to me. How can I empower them? How can I challenge them? How can I help them to become more of what God has called them to be? Leaders challenge and empower others. The fifth thing I know about leaders is, and you're going to like this one, I borrowed this from John Maxwell. Leaders lead. Leaders lead. That's profound, right? Here's the thing about a leader. A leader only has to be one step in front of the first person following him or her. You don't have to be 15 miles ahead. You don't have to be on another planet somewhere. You just have to be one step in front saying, come on, let's go. There's more ground to make here. There's more things to conquer here. There's more things to accomplish here. Leaders are willing to be that person that steps out one or two steps in front of everybody else and says, let's go. This is the path we're going to take. So leaders lead. I hope it's a blessing to you to hear this today because I believe you are a leader. I believe God's called each of us to lead in some way, in some form, in some fashion. So I'm challenging you to be that leader. My name is Brian Holmes. It's a joy to have you with us on Monday Mastery. And I pray God's richest blessings on everything that you put your hands to. We'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you.